social party for the Kirby Fashion Style Expo. I'm here at my Airbnb. I'll do a tour that with you guys later. Hello stylers, welcome to the Full Style channel for another video. Today's video is a vlog of my um, 
time and experience in Atlanta attending the Curvy Fastenista Style Expo. But this video is going to be extremely different because I have been presented with a mega colossal challenge. Um, and the idea for this video came up yesterday while I was talking to some beauties at the Curvy Social, the uh, jump off party before the whole expo starts. Um, basically do a vlogging of how I slayed and uh, survived um, the Curvy Fashionista Style Expo with no luggage. My luggage was lost um, in the Chicago O'Hara Airport or on a, in Atlanta Airport, I don't know. Um, this past Thursday when I checked in, there is no record after me checking in and they go into TSA. There's no record of it getting on or off a plane. So, my luggage with all of my clothes, my underwear, my shoes, my makeup, my toiletries, uh, accessories are all gone. It's all gone. Um, missing. I'm not going to say gone. Missing. So, I am, um, after not crying and trying to be proactive positive about the situation and not totally freaking freak out like I usually used to do um and then by midnight that first night um yeah so um I didn't I didn't I didn't do anything I didn't take no pictures I didn't, I wasn't on Instagram that much until the evening and then when I was at the party the social I was half there because all I could think about is how tight my underwear were are because I picked up a pack of underwear from Target and they were extremely tight. Um, so, uh, but you guys don't need to know that. But, so, this video, this vlog today is I'm going to get ready as much as I can get ready with what little that I have. I did go to Target, like I said yesterday, and I brought a whole bunch of their travel size little toiletries. I brought some makeup. I went to... Macy's and got a free makeup sample of my of my foundation that I use um so that is a tip um if you ever somewhere and you're without your makeup and you need to go make up get makeup and you especially something like foundation go to Sephora Ulta or Macy's a uh, department store and get a get face swatched and get a sample of that foundation luckily I had like a my um press powder my powder foundation of my makeup so I was able to set my liquid you guys know what I'm saying anywho um and then I just went to Target and I picked up the bare essentials I picked up a mascara because I can use it for my eyelashes as well as my eyebrow I picked up a uh, an elf contour palette I'm going to exchange this because it's too light um and then I already had uh some um lipstick and a lip post one a lip um liquid lipstick in my makeup bag that was in my carry on. Um and then I picked up uh yeah, some satin spray and moisturizer. I wanna go back and get a primer because I'm gonna be gone all day and I need a primer. Um, but in the for the next time I will be packing a carry on. Um, try to put as much things in my backpack as I can, like, uh, extra pair of underwear, uh, outfit, and makeup. Um, so, if, I, I really want my bag back. So, anywho, guys, you guys want to see me get ready. I'm going to try to meet up with a friend, um, who could, you know, help me as far as picking out stuff and what to do. I'm going to try to go over to the Cumberland Mall. Or the perimeter mall, um, no, yeah, perimeter mall to tour it and see if somehow I can use the call back. Hello. <sighs> hey, stylist. So, update. Good news. They found my bag. Unfortunately, it's still in Chicago. So, I'm going to have to wait a few hours to see if it's even going to be on the next plane. Next plane out here to Atlanta. Which one getting here until 3 o'clock? 
So I'm still going to go with my previous plan. I'm going to go to Target. I'm going to exchange some things, get some things, and I'm going to head over to Torrid to try to get some underwear because your girl need underwear. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go to Target. I'm going to exchange some things, return some things, get some things. Um, I'm going to go to maybe Ross. Um, and try to find like a basic dress because I don't know how things gonna go with Tori and then I'm gonna go to Tori to get me some underwear um, So I'll of course reveal my outfit and see what I find um, I'm just ugh, this whole experience. I don't know why I have to go through it. I don't know. I don't get it I don't understand um, hmm. <laughs> My resourcefulness I already knew that that was there my adaptability knew it but apparently God wanted me to, God wanted to test me on this. Anywho, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna finish eating something real quick. I got me some little snacks from the little store downstairs where I'm staying. And um yeah. So if you guys are interested to see how I survived slay the two days, I just y'all just keep watching, okay? This weekend can only go up from here. Just better. Just better, okay? Alright guys. Like, I basically, I took advantage of anything I can't buy undershirt, 
Yes! Joe Ames! Good morning, stylers. It is day two, 2.5 of the Curry Fashionista Style Expo. I am getting ready. I am going to go have lunch and I'm going to stop by the mall because I still need to buy a few things because I still don't have my luggage. So I'm still without my luggage, but um, I'm borrowing a dress from Diva Plus Consignment. I'm going to go get a few things I can have for tomorrow and we're going to enjoy our time here. That's what we're going to do. Right. 
because even now, she's lost her own clothing line. If you saw me on, um, oh, what day is it? If you saw me on Friday, both pieces that I was wearing was from Ashley Now Tiptoe. You know, so it's important to support our enemies. It's, impo it's important to support the brands that support and cater to us. So, with all of that being said, I want to introduce my friend, someone who inspires <laughs> oh, but I'm going to get my new frames for the prescription in them so I can be alright. But I want to introduce to you, and, I, uh, and for some of you guys who haven't met her here, you're going to enjoy this. If you've never heard her story, I want you to listen, support, and celebrate. And then when you're done, we'll have a cute, when she's done, we'll have a QA. We'll pass the mic around for a little bit, and then we'll actually have a meet and greet in room 105. One zero five. <laughs> Group one zero five is where the meet and greet will happen. All right, so let's give a round of applause and a warm welcome to our special guest, Ashley Nail Tipton. So with that, I went to design school. I found 
my niche, which was creating for plus size women, because I'm a plus size woman and I know what we want and I know how we want to feel in our clothing and we don't want any restraint. We don't want to settle for less because we deserve so much. And so I studied, did my fashion, learned everything I needed to do, and then right after I graduated, my parents gave me this amazing gift of supporting me while I started my own business. And for two years, I created and designed products out of their garage in their front lawn and everything I remember having my sewing tables and sewing machines and cutting tables out in the lawn and people stopping by like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm creating a line right now. I'm going through production. I'm sewing everyone's orders. And just living in that moment and feeling the drive that I had and the inspiration just pushed me. And I did it for about two years. And I got to a point where I didn't know if I wanted to continue. I didn't know if this was worth it, if my dreams were way too big and I wanted to give up. And at that time, Me all over it. That's me all over it. That's me all day.